So yeah, staying in this 50-50 with that ankle grip, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> it's a risk, isn't it? If you want to play this position in the nogi with the heel hooks, it totally changes the totally changes the game. I, I spoke to a, a bunch of the um, high-profile coaches and a couple of competitors at the recent Pan Championships when the news broke, mm -hmm. and uh, and they all seem to be really, really supportive of the rule. They actually think it's a good thing. I agree, and, I, and from all the competitors that I have talked to, they feel the same exact way. I mean, most of us, like, very high-level people, not only are wanting to win IBF titles, but they're also wanting to win the ABC, they're wanting to win super fights, and so I think it actually makes things much better for us that we can have a streamlined look at the rules, right? It's hard to compare different rules all the time and change your style. I know my passing looks a little different because they're not evolved. Oh, sure. And so when we get to have everything streamlined, yeah, I think people are going to just get more sharp and more dialed in, more dangerous. And uh, it's going to Climbing up to the triangle, but you see Mauricio just easily slides out of that, a little bit of posture. Mauricio does a good job of bringing his weight forward when he needs to be heavy and then backing out when there seems to be any danger. He has a good balance here. I'm showing the ankles too nice. Yeah, I'd like to see Mauricio moving a little more side to side, starting to create some action. He kind of just dives straight into the middle of the guard. Yep, right back into the middle of that guard. Doesn't seem to create much side to side movement, but he does a good job of pinning his shins down. Great flexible guard from Ben Noon on bottom. It's uh, I gotta say though, it, it seems like he's been the initiator here. You know, it's like you mentioned about how, of course, Gomez is going in and out. However, I haven't seen oh, I haven't seen any real deep pass attempts, and this is a little bit different. Now we see oh. him trying to go around to the back oh, this here. Oh, a good grip on the hips. Like if he that. can get that truck going, oh, he's gonna go back. Back into yeah. 50, 50 that <laughs> is the danger. You see what I'm saying is about how uh, Ben Yoon has been the one who's kind of like been dictating the, the pace of the match. Yes. We haven't really seen Gomez kind of go after it yet, but still, hey, we've got four minutes left to work. You know, it's plenty of time, right? Yeah, I'm hoping. I mean, if we if we want to see. If you want to see Gomez creating more action, he's going to need to get out of this 50-50 and back out and start, I think, passing from a distance. Because when he gets close to the middle of the guard, like this, yeah. it's a hard position to get my point from. I mean, that's why I'm excited. That's one reason I'm excited for the leg loss. He seems to be trying to bring the foot over the head for, the, uh, for like, leg drop. But um, Ben has done a good job of just keeping You know, it's funny, isn't it, that, uh, that a lot of people will... Um, Criticize the 50-50 as a as a stalling position, mm -hmm. but uh, it it can be attacking position when used in the right way. I think it's very obvious when we're watching. It's very obvious. This guy has one or two advantages, and there's 45 seconds left, and he's just holding, 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 trying to keep the person there. It's very obvious. But when I mean, man, Benyon has been very active with this guard. He's trying to invert the entire time, trying to elevate, go underneath, reach for that other leg. Attacked a couple of knee bars. And okay. it is possible to attack from uh, on top of the 50 50 as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's the, the, the 50 50 armbar, which, uh, you know, was personally one of my favorite moves because I loved seeing that happen. It's a, it's a phenomenal attack, and I love it, it when it happens in competitions. There are a few, few uh, big names who are really, really good at that, guys like Hudson Mateus. Had a, yeah, had a nice Kenzie. one, the famous one. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, from top as well, we've seen some really creative arm locks and stuff as well, uh, like a straight arm locks. And it's 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 one of those positions as well um, that you have to be careful with because you'll see some people hang out 50-50 from bottom. Mm -hmm. And Leandro Lowe has hit this a number of times that he just reaches back and he'll take a toe hold on that that leg. Outside leg, yes. yeah. So like the the, the leg with that Benyun has the green wrist band or ankle band on right now. That uh, it's 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 exposed, and if you're locked into the 50-50, you can't even take your own foot out. So that's true, and I think a lot of times uh, the way that we attack that foot, if it's open, we not get to open, but if it's open the 50-50, the person is forced to defend, and we get a little more active. I feel like we see that a lot. Ben Yoon is uh, he's tried to come up on top once or twice, but I got to say that uh, Gomez is based and really really solid so far, and he's been able to to avoid. Pain. 
points being scored on him. So it's still a straight 0-0 zero, zero across the board. No points. No advantages. Just a quick reminder that there is uh, plenty of action happening here at the Panoki that you can catch up on any matches that you may have missed by going to programming.com and searching through our archives. Deep Silva had a, his first round match with Oliver Taza. He's black belt to be win. Crazy. Yeah, this there's been a lot good. of good names out, actually. We've seen, uh, already, we've seen in action Ronaldo Jr., we've seen Gianni Grippo, we've seen Gabriel Souza, and many more big names to come, such as Kennedy Maciel, Kainan Duarte, Lucas Barboza. Um, no shortage of, of big name athletes in action here today. And not just in the black belts, we've got some uh, pretty standout brown belts to watch as well, actually. Yes, yes, some great brown belts. Saw some fireworks earlier from the, the blue belt females as well. Looking really good. And a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of wrestling this morning. I've been surprised. I haven't seen as much card pulling as I normally, as I normally feel like I will. Uh -huh. There is two points there, for, yeah, uh, for two. Ben and Yoon. Yeah, he's managed to stabilize the position. There's still plenty of time here for, for Mauricio to score back. So Ben Yoon is going to have to either get his leg out from that 15-50 and disengage and pull guard again, or he can get free and then get top position. He may be able to bring that leg over. Yeah, it's a little tough. I like the difference in style from bottom in the guard play because, of course, where Adam was was very insistent on going for that 50-50 over and over, uh, that Gomez was going underneath the hips instead over here. See, Look at that, another, snatching the leg. Oh, see, that's what I thought was going to happen in the last fight. Because <laughs> you know he wants that last second two points. That was a very smartly timed guard pull. That was very smart. Yeah, not conceding any points there at all. But yeah, you're right. It did look like the last match that, that <laughs> snatching the victory in the last 10, 15 seconds. But yeah, very composed performance by Anne Benayoun in uh, taking that one 2 0. He was very patient. He was very patient with that guard. He kept trying to go underneath, elevating, doing a really good job of creating action. And then finally, minute number nine, he's able to come out with two points. Very strong match. Composed performance. That, of course, was an eliminated match. First round here in the lightweight division. Uh, plenty more action to come. I think we're going to stay here on map one.